Okay, this is uh, the premium episode for this week, pre-recorded, you know, I don't know, is it like Tuesday or something? I think so. It's Tuesday. Um, Sam, I didn't work out. We couldn't schedule that, probably for the best. Everyone seemed angry that we were going to have him on anyways, <laughs> uh, which, uh, you know, I guess is good, whatever. You know, I mean, <laughs> the real motivation is just to get people to listen to the fucking show. Right. That's all I want. Just we listen to the sh- show. We just lie and we were going to record. Don't. We were going to record Sam in my apartment. I was going to make him kiss the mezuzah to come in. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, It'd just... be funny to make him wear a yarmulke. Yeah. <laughs> I would have. Yeah. I have a blue flame yarmulke that I would have made him wear. <laughs> that would have been good. Yeah, yeah. My problem is I can't say no to people. You know. Right. So it could be like if it's the world's most famous Nazi. And they were like, can I do the podcast? <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just a Nazi head in like the yeah, Futurama we water. Did, right. we, <laughs> he, he has a bunch of fans. <laughs> yeah. And then they'll start listening to the show and then they'll stop being Nazis when they... <laughs> that's how I, what I delude myself into thinking will happen. Well, here's, here's what I, might somehow, I mean. somehow irony is going to convince people to not be racist. Well, I mean, that, like that, uh, that famous Holocaust quote where they're like, first, they came for the communists. Yeah, that's right. not the real quote. It's yeah. like, first... Uh, the communists had Nazis on their podcast. Yeah. <laughs> right. I said nothing because I didn't have enough premium subscribers. Yeah. And then they came for me, but I had already bought in a PS4. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will buy that PS4. We're I all going to have wait. PS4s, and I'm going to go yes. back to gaming, folks. Hell yeah, dude. And I'm going to quit the internet. I'm going to go back to gaming and just be, you know, I, I watch, you know, you like Demonious Acts and stuff. There's big fat guys on YouTube who are just angry and their lives seem to suck and they live in the middle of nowhere, but they have gaming. And that's like the thing you think you watch these people and you're like, how do they not kill themselves? Gaming, mm-hmm. dude. And it's gaming. Yeah. Gaming saved it's, my life. It's dude. a religion, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, so we got Felix. We got Big Dick Felix in we the house. We got Big Everybody. Dick Felix from Ooh-ooh! Chapo Trap House. We are live at the... Sucko fuck house. I don't know. What's what's the Park Slope Mansion? <laughs> Park, Park, Park Slope, Slope Mansion. mansion. Yeah. We, do, we do lease it. Also from Anthony Cumia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part yeah, of yeah. The Anthony Cumia yeah. Realty Group. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, this is Anthony Cumia South or West. I don't know directions, but... Yeah. AC... But A- East. AC East. Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Neither. Cumia. <laughs> Cumia Studios East. AC, ACDC it stands for Anthony Cumia Dice Clay. <laughs> Dude, I went to... I did a show at, uh, at, a, at a club, and they had... <laughs> They had Andrew Dice Clay's smoked cigarette butt taped to the wall as memorabilia. <laughs> they had like they had this fucking it's it like was on a bulletin thing. board. It's the world's <laughs> shittiest planet Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, they, got, they just have they like got, fucking Sam Kinison's yeah. uh, cum rags on the wall. Right? No, they have the couch. This is true. Paulie Shore went to the uh, Funny Bone in Richmond <laughs> and fucked like one of the wait staff and nutted on the couch. <laughs> And then refused to clean <laughs> the come up. Didn't clean it up. Just didn't clean it up, and then they had to buy a new couch. Paulie <laughs> 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 Shore. Oh fuck, man. Hey, buddy. That story comes courtesy of Joe Hafke. I've who, heard that story a bunch too. Yeah. Well, Joe Hafke was the one that told me. Joe Hafke is a uh, friend of the show. My, my friend. I really. You guys don't know who the fuck I think he is. I met I don't him know. Once. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He just got married. Bald. No. Then I did not. Short. Meet him. Maybe I did meet him. I yeah. don't know. Fuck. I met a bald guy that you were friends with. Uh, That's you. Uh, No, I have hair. I just cut my hair short as a style choice. Yeah, he has a mackle. I have a lot of hair. You and Ben are my only bald friends. No, Ben is bald, but I have short hair. I try to limit the amount of bald guys I'm friends with, because you never know when it's actually cancer. (laughs) We also don't know for sure the cancer isn't contagious. That's right. The science is still, you know, that's still out. Yeah. The only way to cure cancer... The only way <laughs> to cure cancer. Yeah, you is must to have, have sex, sex with an albino virgin. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what Pizzagate is about. Um, Hillary has Parkinson's oh, wow. and cancer, and they had to get all those kids to her oh. so she'd stop dying. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You suck the sweet nectar yeah. out of their balls. Did and you pussies. guys? Did you guys talk about that tweet Will found yet? Where. Uh, Somebody somebody tweeted like the entire Clinton campaign is run on pizza. Oh yeah, back in like yeah. 2012, oh, yeah. and then so they, re- awesome. they replied guilty as charged. No, <laughs> yes, uh, yes, oh, shit. 
I wow. want that tweet. Dude. I want that tweet as a necklace and a locket. <laughs> yeah. and a locket. I mean, that's like you remember the funniest day of the last year, the day where she collapsed. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. And so, okay, you remember when she like walked outside of the apartment and she like, clearly took two things of Ativan to the neck. Yeah. And she has the huge sunglasses on and goes, I feel great. Mm-hmm. It was so. She, yeah. Podesta, like, took a syringe of child cum. <laughs> yeah. And, like, it was like in Pulp Fiction. Yeah. They shoved it into her. Ch- child cum, by the way, is uh, what they call tears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's her code name for tears. And What's in the little kids' balls if it's not cum? Uh, pepperoncinis, uh, Italian sausage. Just that pepperoncini <laughs> juice. Yeah, that, uh, like... Portobello mushrooms. <laughs> Dude, well, that's, that's the biggest thing the Italians ripped off from the Greeks. Is, oh, yeah. Uh, pedophilia. Pedophilia. Yeah. yeah, we were mad about that. When I worked, worked at, a lot. when I worked at Papa John's, they made you sit through these like training powerpoints. <laughs> Fucking Papa John's corporate wasted all this money getting someone to design like, you know, SharePoint <laughs> training modules for yeah. every new hire at Papa John's. Had that shit too, which is like. Who gives a shit? Don't, yeah. It doesn't matter if the people... If you called up Papa John's and you were like, what are the toppings? And the guy on the phone was like, I don't fucking know. He'd be like, excuse me? And they'd be like, I said I don't fucking know. And they'd be like, all right, well, I guess let me get a large <laughs> pepperoni pizza. Because you know there's nothing you can do about right, it. Right, right, right. They're not going to fire that guy. They don't yeah. fucking care. Yeah. But when I was taking the training modules, they explained all the toppings. And they, they were like, we have what's called uh, Papa Bella mushrooms. And... <laughs> It's like, well, what's the difference between papabella mushrooms and portabella mushrooms? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's the same fucking thing. They just had to brand them that way. I, I like to think it's just like mushrooms that they cut out using a stencil of Papa John's mushroom head cock. Yeah. So it's like they're exactly the same shape as Papa John's dick. John He's a, they, Then they send an orthodox rabbi in to suck the excess <laughs> mushroom yeah. juice on top of it. Uh, dude, did you guys see that picture of Papa John at like a Kentucky game? Just furred? Just fucked up out of his mind? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's awesome. a drunk. Yeah. 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 Apparently... Yeah. They, People see him around Kentucky, Louisville, just like uh, just walking into part. He's like a Bill Murray type. He just goes just the one lamest. It's not even yeah. like <laughs> one of my lo- he's longest like a Tea Party Republican. Also, <laughs> yeah. one of my All the pizza brings pizza guys are one of my longest uh, running uh, uh, Wikipedia vandalisms. I added a whole section to the Papa John's page about like an incident that happened in like the flagship <sighs> Louisville, Kentucky store. Where uh, John Schnatter came in drunk and was like insisting that everyone calls him Papa. <laughs> and he was like, I'll show you how to make a fucking pizza. And he was drunk and he like threw up all over the place and then locked himself in the office and like <laughs> took off all his clothes and was like crying in there. And, and, and they couldn't get him out. But I made it look real and yeah, I added yeah. all these fake citations and it stayed on there for like six months. <laughs> oh man, you're a That's hero. so yeah, fucking people, good. People thought it was, it you're was the real. dark night. Wait, of so Wikipedia. I guess every Pizza guy is super conservative, right? Because Domino's, Domino's is Catholic. Well, as no, shit. they're cat. They're not. Yeah, they're not. Tea and then party. Herman they're... Cain was Godfather Pizza, which yeah, is yeah. Kind of awesome. Yeah. Who else is everybody? Is there is there uh, a liberal pizza chain? That would suck if it was like California yeah, pizza Comet kitchen. Ping Pong Pizza. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. <laughs> it's not a chain. It's a one off. Yeah. It's, it's, well, there's chains in the basement. Little, yeah. little Caesars. There's plenty of chains down there. Little adorable pink chains. Yeah, and yeah, pink yeah. And blue chains. They, they, they should change the name of that place to Very Little Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> little Caesars is uh, Maoist. Really? No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That'd be that, so awesome. I mean, that w- I, you guys remember Air America when they made that yeah, show? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then Mark Maron was on. Yeah, yeah. he was. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and Al Franken. And yeah. I was like a liberal-ass teenager at the time, and I was like, oh, this is gay shit. Like, even <laughs> yeah. I know this is fucking yeah. gay. I'm the people that would like this, and this sucks. My mom would keep it on in our house, and it would just be like Maron talking about how depressed he was, and then being like, we gotta beat Bush. But <laughs> yeah. uh, if they did, they took the same process, thought process for that. And they're like, we need a liberal pizza chain to take on Papa John's. <laughs> we need a liberal alcoholic Hell Papa yeah. John. Oh, we could do that. We get that done. I want to yeah. be it, dude. Papa Bill Mar Pizza. Yeah. Stanley's Pizza. Huh? Bill Mar Pizza? Pizza <laughs> Pizza Hut. Domino's. Does uh what's the political Domino's is, is Catholic and like super and right wing. Yeah. What about yeah. Pizza Hut though? They have that town in Florida, the Domino's yeah, town. Yeah, like Domino's University and shit. Yeah, like Domino's that. U. <laughs> dude, I worked at Domino's. I worked at most of the pizza restaurants. And, and dude, uh, no non compete clause? 
Damn. You know, like Jimmy Jones. Actually, <laughs> you know what? I think they do make you sign a Really? Yeah. That's hilarious. Um but uh you know, it's only at the same time. But they, I I doubt they enforce that. Those all the thing about all these pizza restaurants, they all have the same exact business model and they're all a ticking fucking time bomb. Right. Because when they hire drivers, they ask you to have, show proof of insurance. <laughs> But what they don't tell you is that in, like, a shit ton of states, like, I know New Jersey, um, <laughs> uh, all the insurance policies are written with, like, a, a, a like, a, like, a livery and, uh, like, courier exclusion clause, which mm. means if they even find out you're delivering pizza with, like, a regular, you know, uh, personal liability insurance policy, they'll fucking drop you and you'll never get insurance really? again. Really? Yeah. Wow. So Jesus. Yeah, so if you get into an accident with a pizza delivery if a pizza delivery driver hits your fucking car or god forbid like runs over you in a fucking crosswalk, mm-hmm. the insurance company is going to investigate it. They're going to find out they were delivering pizza and they're going to say we're not covering this. Wow. And then you have to fucking hire a lawyer and sue the Jesus pizza restaurant. Christ. Yeah. And the the fucking pizza restaurants leave their employees at head, like you know they hang them out to dry like I don't know if it's the managers are trained this way because a lot of those guys just work their way up you know uh, to the manager position but you know they'll tell you if you get into an accident they're like yeah just you know take off your hat real quick or take the topper off your car and they'll like encourage you to commit fucking insurance fraud <laughs> <laughs> and they say yo no that's you your your personal policy has to cover that and that's one hundred percent not true that's crazy because you're you're doing exactly what they told right. you to do. And they just don't worry about it. They just think, you know, oh, it's easier. Instead of paying for insurance for our, our employees, we're going to make them pay the insurance. Right. We're going to pay them $4 an hour because they have to make it up in tips. And it's like if it's a fucking nightmare. So pizza delivery guys in Jersey are basically like Chinese diplomats. They can like commit crimes and uh, disappear. How are you almost a lawyer? <laughs> I'm a lawyer. And it does, no, that's no, not what I'm the saying exact at all. opposite. They get very in trouble. Any, any yeah, any employee, <laughs> any employee. Of, <laughs> yeah, they have diplomatic <laughs> vulnerability. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's uh, what happens. If you, what I'm saying is, if you get into trouble delivering pizza, you're extradited to China and murdered. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> Fuck, dude, get yeah. murdered in China would be. Real bad. No, I mean, all they those vans for it. Yeah, all those companies are fucking pieces of shit. They pay their employees like shit. There's a fucking uh, a Papa John's guy that was like murdered on the job, Jesus and they, they, you know the company wouldn't pay the family mm-hmm, of any money. Yeah. Oh, dude, so many people get jumped in Baltimore delivering pizza. Yeah, they're just that like would fucking suck. Yeah, I mean routinely, like it's just like yeah. you just know you're happy if they don't beat the shit out of you. That's yeah. that a there was a Chappelle bit right about uh, delivering pizzas in DC I don't when he was in high school. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, it, it sucks just getting jumped when you're not caring. Absolutely. Like, a, mm-hmm. you know, a bunch of pizza boxes. But you probably feel worse when you get jumped that way. It's like if you get jumped and you're wearing a hat and it flies off. Yeah. Like, that's insult to injury. I Absolutely. You look, stu- you look dumb and you got jumped. Well, these guys just, when they're hungry for pizza, like, if criminals want pizza in Baltimore, they'll just, like, order a shit ton of pizza and then just take it and then just rob the guy after he delivers their pizza. It's actually, like... I'm jealous of it as a scam. Like, it's pretty tight. Do you ever, like, wish you had the moral ability to be that much of a piece of shit sometimes? Yeah, I th- I don't think it's the moral, but I think I am kind of a piece of shit, but I'm just scared. Like, I was, I was scared mm-hmm. to do crime. Like, I sold weed in high school, but then, like, the second it was, like, I, was, I had to, like, buy more than, like, you know, like, scary amounts of weed. Mm-hmm. And it was like you're yeah. dealing with people who sell coke and kill people. I was like, all right, I can't fucking do. It. I'm just too much of a fucking pussy to fucking, you know. I almost got. I thought I was gonna die at a Foreman Mills parking lot because I was like, because uh, <laughs> I just fucking I went in my mom's fucking gold care of Dodge Grand Caravan to yeah, buy yeah. a ton of weed from some guy, and it was just like the scariest looking guy, just like mean mugging me. Like I could tell wanted to rob me. And then just like the actual guy who I knew his little brother, that's the only reason I had this hookup, like popped up after the other guy investigated me and like threw me a ton of weed and then just they just like a siren came off and they sped off. They were like in a fucking awesome car and I thought I was going to, it was just a fucking fire truck, but I thought I was going (laughs) to die, dude. I thought I was going to die that day. I wanted to be talking last time. What was the high school drug dealer stop outfit? Did you have like. Pele Pele? Nah, dude. This yeah, was, it was still me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking, the Homer uh, Simpson shower episode cap, where he yeah. gets fat as shit. Yeah, yeah, that's how I dress. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it was what, like, uh, 
if I could bet right now, I would put a hundred on North Pole or South Pole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I used to have. I used to rock a little uh, South Pole. I liked a little, uh, but just but the uh, I didn't want it to get too. I didn't want a too prominent a logo. Mm-hmm. Echo though, some nice Echo. I would rock some of that shit. Have you ever seen Mark Echo? Like who Lugs, he is? Lugs. I already talked about. Yeah, I loved Lugs. That was my shit, huh? Have you ever seen Mark Echo? Who he is? He's just some fat white guy. He's just a white guy. No, no, he's like a. I don't know. I was watching a. Um, right? Isn't he just fat? I was watching guy? a documentary about this uh, radio show in New York, Stretch and Bobito. Yes. It's like they like yeah they had like. Nas and Biggie yeah, yeah, and all yeah. these people Huge on. rap show Yeah yeah And it was like just like a white kid From the Upper East Side And yeah. whatever It was some college radio show. It started as a college radio It started show. yeah at Columbia um, But like one of the talking heads On the documentary Is Mark Echo And he is such a clown Yeah Like yeah He's just like a white dude He's wearing one of those Like military style baseball yeah, caps Yeah 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 <laughs> He just like Yeah he just looked those like Those were big such for a, a, for yeah. a hot sec. People still wear those Yeah they're like uh the short brims, yeah, the the Castro five panel, yeah, yeah, yeah little yeah. Castro hats, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You only wear those if you're like on probation or the head of a military junta. Yeah. <laughs> There's no in between. Well, I feel like they're for they're for women who are into break dancing in theory, <laughs> but not in practice. <laughs> Like women that would imagine themselves to be very good at breakdancing or starting the races in the Fast and the Furious movies. Yeah. All the breakdancing kids in high school were uh, were Asian kids. Yeah. Was it like that for you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And the breakdancing kids. kids eventually turned into martial arts kids. Yeah. Really? And they would fight each other behind the school. What? And, uh, yeah. And I remember my friend Nick one time, he found this folding chair and he like walked out. I remember watching him walk around the corner in the back to where all the Asian kids were fighting each other. And he's swinging the folding chair and he's going, Oh, you didn't know? They <laughs> <laughs> were like, Get the fuck out of here. And he's like swinging Yo, the folding chair at him. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Damn. Hell yeah, dude. That's yeah. the Road Dogs music, right? Yeah. No, it's. Uh, oh, 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 you, you didn't, didn't know. know. You better. No, it's a big Your show. It's a big show. Big show. Oh, right. big show, yeah. big show. Well, you better call Your somebody. Yeah. Hey, it's the big show. He, was he the only guy that had the song where it was his name? I think so. Yeah. It was uh, a big bad uh, show tonight. Who's the guy who's the ass man? Yes, we talked he, about him last had, episode. Mr. Ass. Was fun, <laughs> His name was literally Mr. <laughs> ass. Yeah. yeah. I let, fuck. That's what I want to do. Figure out the fucking lyrics. He he would say I'm I'm an ass man. But he never said I'm Mr. Ass. That's true. Yeah. That's true. It's close. I like to stick him. He literally, I talked about this last time too, but it was like literally in his theme music, there's an insinuate. He just says he likes to fuck asses. I thought it so was so cool. I thought his, his theme music was, uh, I'm an ass man. <laughs> no, oh, fuck. I yeah. love wrestling and how racist that shit was. Yeah. Uh, the Godfather, just a pimp. Just a guy who pimped women. Mm-hmm. How, a, yeah. how forward thinking was Gold Dust? Yeah, like, Gold, oh like my a god, trans, right? Yeah. A trans <laughs> alien. Oh it's like, but he, he also Jomney's son. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he used to like do gay stuff as like All to the troll time. people. Yeah, and his it would moves piss people were gay. off so much. Yeah, he'd do like yeah, yeah gay moves. The gay moves. That's like, such kid. a that's such a fucking cool. My, like, my favorite character. wrestler as a kid was Sting. Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. me too. Sting course, had a run yeah. in our when we in our uh, when yeah. we grew up. That well, he was the coolest he, guy. Yeah, he, well, he was in WCW at the, the time. white NWO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you and remember the red, you, the me, and Janelle pack? wanted to take that picture? Oh, yeah, the Stings of Comedy. The original the WCW, Stings of Comedy. The original WCW Stings of Comedy. <laughs> yeah, we just we all get Sting makeup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what his deal was like, you know, he's like, oh, you ever see that movie The Crow? <laughs> it's like that, but just short of copyright infringement. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and they're like, what's the name? I don't know, Sting, but it's so different from the musician that basically I steal everything and put <laughs> yeah. it together and no one can get mad at me. He's uh, yeah, fair, I'm a he curator. Fair yeah. use, man. He's, yeah, he's like a, he's man. sampling. He's the sampling yeah, of yeah. wrestling. Wrestling was like, I mean, in the eighties, it was like all cool racist stereotypes. Yeah, but they should do one now by like BuzzFeed and MTV News people that it's like, oh, my character is the straight white guy texting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <a> shitty woke <laughs> character. <laughs> I'm speaking over women. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great. His he finishing just move is mansplaining. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that would be so fucking good. I love it. I uh, I hate wrestling. 
You, you it, never you, into you it? used to like it uh, for a very brief period when it was super fucking popular. Right, the yeah, Stone Cold, yeah, yeah. The Rock. Yeah, right. Era. When I was in like well, staying a little I bit was, into Stone Cold. No, and the when Rock. I was WCW. Grade, the, the thing is, I never so, had cable, so my exposure to wrestling was fucking uh, uh, Raw. Raw is War and yeah. SmackDown. Yeah, you know, the only the two shows that were on network television. Raw so, was on. Raw was on. Uh, fucking was on. Cable. Uh, yeah, SmackDown. Yeah, it was on USA. Maybe I'm thinking of the Raw is War game. Probably, but yeah, yeah. but yeah, SmackDown was the only thing I ever really watched. SmackDown on UPN, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 on UPN. <laughs> yeah. That, man, that was such a great lineup. Fucking SmackDown, uh, Sentinel, uh, Voyager, Seven Star Days. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Voyager is kind of a piece of shit, but uh, it, Sentinel was badass. It was. And Seven Days, I actually considered watching that again. That was like an okay show. I don't remember. What seven was days. that? Seven Days was... Uh, oh, they get the news from like a week no. in the future? We talked about this on the show before, but Seven Days is uh, uh, like uh, Anthony uh, Lat- Lataglia or something. He's, oh, he's we like haven't a, talked about there's that. There's like a... Yeah, four brothers or three oh, brothers. Right, yeah. right, yeah. Right, 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 right. So you can go back in time seven days. Right, right, right. With this machine that you have to balance from the inside like a ping pong ball. Right. Uh, very similar to the contact machine. And mm. uh, yeah, so you can only go back in time seven days and he has to prevent things from happening. Hell yeah, dude. I'll just go back in time and fuck, dude. Yeah. Seven days. <laughs> I would just go on dates days. and like, it'd just be like a really shitty version of Groundhog Day, I guess, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. I feel like anybody that goes back in time, like you think like, oh, you know, stop Hitler or do anything really. But it's like, you would go back in time and realize how inexpensive things were comparatively. <laughs> yeah. And you would just enjoy your life. Yeah. Would, buy like Apple stock. We would just buy all of the Lower East Side if we go back yeah. in time. Yeah, yeah. Like, we you know how like, fucking <laughs> easy it would have been if you could do basic math and you were literate to be yeah. a fucking millionaire businessman? Andrew Carnegie didn't finish school past like seventh grade. Oh, none of those guys. Yeah, Vander, Cornelius Vanderbilt didn't either. Yeah, yeah. yeah there was also no laws back then at, like regulating finance. Right. So like pump and dump schemes were like yeah that's fair game yeah which is weird because all the SEC, monopoly yeah so many sec rules are like because somebody figured out a way that like capitalism is broken that you can just cheat right and then they cheated for a while and they're like ah, i guess we should make this illegal yeah, 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 <laughs> because yeah. there's nothing really morally wrong with that you mm-hmm. know to fucking say hey everybody invest in this stock and you get the stock price to go up and then you don't invest in it anymore yeah you know You're i mean yeah off. and that's like the premise of all flash trading it just yeah. with that you're supposed to like not know whether it's going to go up or down. Yeah. Um, so as long as there's uncertainty, as long as you're not definitely yeah, yeah ripping I, them off, I, that would be great. Dude, we're to business go back experts. Then. Yeah, I could fucking do that shit, dude. I could buy property. If you were in Wall Street in like fucking 1880, the guy you're going up against for promotion, like he's going to die because he doesn't wash his hands. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, if you know basic things, you're fucking set. Yeah. I would die quick as hell, dude. I would eat some fucking rotten pork chops or some shit. Because it's just like... I would spend so much time in those fucking Chinese opium, opium dens. dens. Hell <laughs> yeah. Constantly. Hell fucking yeah. yes. Do nothing but have awesome haircuts, mm-hmm. cool spats, <laughs> and getting sucked off in a Chinese opium yeah. den high as shit. You can't do Dude, go. fuck yeah. It would, for me, it would be all opium dens... Building railroads, yeah, 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 and lifting big triangular weights. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. So fucking cool, dude. Yeah. You got to get a cool mustache, yeah. shave your oh, head, hell yeah. wear one of those bathing suits that covers your entire body. Yeah, yeah. You can't be indecent at the beach, <laughs> at the segregated beach. You don't want to offend anybody <laughs> with your nude body at the beach where blacks and Chinese yeah, yeah. are banned. You could, well, you, they could be there as chairs, yeah, but otherwise. You would be like a fucking Olympic gold medalist in everything because everyone you're competing against like doesn't know that you're not supposed to drink two pints of beer before. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, Babe Fuck Ruth yeah, was dude. just drunk his entire career. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh and my he god. He was the best. I would be the best football player. Everyone everyone like the linemen were like two hundred pounds. Football back then. was fucked up yeah. back then. Although yeah. you weren't you didn't have helmets. Yeah, yeah. So it was just like punching you and shit like that. Well, you know what's crazy is like you know how you watch movies and they say no animals were harmed in the making of this film? Mm-hmm. You know, you go back like 20 years, they would just kill animals in films. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a, a, like a, a even bigger like Hollywood thing was like stuntmen. They used to just kill them all the time. Jesus <laughs> They would Christ. fucking just die and they'd like put their bodies in a dumpster behind the fucking studio. <laughs> it was like an extremely dangerous job. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. I'll have to be a stunt man. Yeah, people like the Queensboro Bridge. I think something like nine people died making that bridge. Jesus And it's Christ. like... 
nobody's favorite bridge. Yeah, just, <laughs> nobody cares. It sucks it's to really, really it, yeah. It's, it's the shittiest fine. bridge. It's like if people died building the Epcot Center. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, but, uh, but yeah, the, the wages were actually a lot more fair than people think. I went to the Transit Museum. Um, choo choo. Uh, <laughs> seven bucks. Just something drew you there. Yeah, yeah. Something well, deep inside. I you. had some time to kill, and uh, in between age twenty and age thirty, <laughs> <laughs> so I made my way over to the transit museum. And uh, well, it's like there's this uh, plaque on the wall, or like you know, like a fucking info, you say post, whatever the fuck yeah. it's called. And uh, it's like, uh, like here. Uh, these guys would get paid, uh, you know, 50 cents a day for this work or something. And then they have, like, the prices of everything. And it's like a new hat cost uh, five cents, right. you know. And it's like, it's well, that hat rich. now would cost me, like, the entirety of, like, a week's paycheck at least. Right, yeah. right, right. You know, right, it's right, a right. fucking hat, like a nice bowler nice hat. It's like $700. Yeah. <laughs> right, so right. that was a portion of their day's pay. A beer was a penny. Right. You know. So it's like they were doing fine, yeah. you know. Their, your rent was fucking four dollars a year. <laughs> yeah, They're like, can you believe how little they got paid? Yeah, tenement life was nice, dude. I lived in a fucking tenement. I went to the t- I went to the tenement museum. They're like, can you believe these conditions? I'm like, absolutely, I can. <laughs> I fucking do- and plenty of like Chinese people still live in those conditions, and no one gives a shit because they true. all look the same. They do. So they think it's only one guy going through that. <laughs> but it's forty thousand people. <laughs> this one guy yeah. has 15 city blocks to himself. Yeah. No, man, I, I feel bad for those out. fucking yeah. like those people. I would I would file all these complaints with 311 like on their behalf because the building didn't have heat. Right. In the mid- I would wake up in the middle of the night shivering. I could see my breath and the fucking light coming through the window. Right. And uh they're like, "Yeah, it's very cold." <laughs> mm. They like asked me if they could cut a hole in the wall to reroute the radiator because they said, uh, my grandparents are afraid of the cold. <laughs> <laughs> They're afraid? Like, yeah, they fucking should be. It's going to kill them. <laughs> Fearing temperature. Wait, so the only one that spoke English was the little kid, right? Yeah, well, the the dad kind of spoke English, and then, yeah, the son and the daughter spoke English. Yeah. Yeah. The daughter, nice, bro. Yeah. Did you fuck her? No. Nice. Jesus Christ, dude, come on. Come on, man. No. High five these me, are dude. people I fucking lived with. High five me, dude. You're going to make these disgusting jokes about people I know in my high life? Five me, dude. Later. We'll do it after the show. Nick just high fived me, guys, for everyone listening. No. He just did it again. Yeah, I don't know. They live awful fucking lives. Yeah, dude, you're you're a hero, dude. For what? Some complaints? 311? It didn't do anything. 311 doesn't give a shit. <laughs> they, fire, they literally will just close the complaint. The building I lived in has had an open boiler complaint since 1995. <laughs> <laughs> they just fucking won't do anything. They don't. The city does not give a shit. Jesus Christ! That's like, you know, like it, because we were talking about that Oakland warehouse fire and shit, mm-hmm, and right. it is like, yeah, those codes exist for a fucking reason. And I hope the people that ran that building go straight to fucking jail. Yeah, I hope there's no for sympathy sure. for them. You know, but it's like, even with the codes, like the city's not going to fucking do anything. They'll right. just make those people homeless. Right. Exactly. They'll just yeah. condemn the fucking building because the, the fuck. you know the fucking the, the landlords have more you know that's uh, what they did in control Baltimore. over what's that they just did they just fucking shut down a bunch of those like shitty warehouse buildings and you just had to fucking leave yeah you had like a day to fucking take your shit yeah and you're like all right find somewhere else to live that yeah. was actually because of Rob Zombie yeah. he got them to foreclose on all the warehouses <laughs> so he could make more videos there yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, House of a Thousand Corpses was actually the name of my tenement <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck Oh, boys, what are we doing for the holidays, huh? I'm doing, doing anything? I'm doing Jewish Christmas in New York. It's my favorite thing. Which Jew Christmas? I've done do it the do last the... two years. It's so great. Chinese food in a, in Chinese a movie? Chinese food Christmas Eve uh, down at Wohop. You go to Wohop. Yeah, and then uh, 2nd Avenue Deli Christmas Day, and then uh, basketball. Oh, you play basketball? No, then I watch basketball. You watch oh. basketball. I was going to say an all yeah. Jewish basketball game. It's I actually one of my favorite things is being in New York during the holidays when everyone's gone. It's so cool. It's like the fucking I am legend, dude. There's like no one out. It's the way New York used to be when it was it's all the, Jews. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before it was ruined by wasps that want to be I, artists. I completely agree. <laughs> by, oh, um, I'm moving here. I'm using my parents' money to be the next Andy Warhol. <laughs> go. What does your art look like? Well, I haven't actually gotten around to doing any art yet, <laughs> but I have been shopping. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, the New York real estate blog is just, it's just trolling. And the New York Times re- uh, real estate section yeah. is the most infuriating. It's just it's got to be trolling. It's the most infuriating publication. I it's the only thing I get angry. Yeah, I Do you don't see even, the thing about the fake walls. No, I, I had to stop reading it. There are I, four gets, people living in Fidei mm-hmm. in a one bedroom apartment. Four young professionals. And they showed their living quarters, and I just started shaking with rage. I mean, they, and I think they all pay like eleven hundred each Jesus a month Christ. for rooms like man. mine for like a shitty ass apartment in Fida because they just moved to New York. That's a little like, bit. Oh, that's a little bit more real, though. I mean, the half of them are like. Um, uh, Katie, his parents gave her a budget <laughs> of eighty million dollars a month, <laughs> yeah. and she knows she has to pinch pennies, you know. And so now she found an eighteen-bedroom uh, apartment with nine fireplaces, in the West and Village, a clawfoot yeah. tub, you know. Uh, yeah, there's a Ferrari in the building. The doorman is a Ferrari, <laughs> and, and uh, you know she knows it's not perfect. It's not what she wants. You know, it could be a little bit better. She's not really. She you know she's slumming it. <laughs> She's doing what she has to do so she can make it as uh, somebody that continues to spend their parents' money. <laughs> yeah. that, I mean, that was like during the financial crisis. I thought they were trying to foment a violent uprising. Yeah, because they would have all these articles that were like, for some NYU students, they can only have five slaves now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. well, that's basically yeah. what I, it is. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's fucking these people bitching about, you know, having to live. It's like, you know, there's people moving here to do comedy that live in like East New York now. Right. Yep. Yeah. You know, just stabbed 82 times. Remember so fucking uh, Justin lived in Jamaica. Yeah, he, he still like, does, he dude. Still he still is in fucking Jamaica. <laughs> Who, Flanagan? Which, which no, 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 Justin. No. Uh, Justin uh, uh, the, Hancock. Yeah, Hancock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The color me Bel Air homie. But, uh, which, you know, Jamaica, Queens might as well just be Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> That's how fucking far away from well, the city yeah. you are. Yeah. Dude, Kurt lives in, like, basically Yonkers. Yeah. I thought he lives crazy. in, like, Inwood, Washington Heights. It's, uh, 168. Jesus No, that's yeah, Christ. that's Washington Heights. It it's goes up height. way higher. It goes up to like two something. Yeah, in the Bronx. No, 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 no. In Manhattan. In Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I've been there one time. It took forever to get yeah, there. Yeah, go there though. It takes dude. a long It can go time. higher, but fucking get there. Yeah, you take the the A or the two three, whatever. The two three. Yeah. Um yeah, I, I don't know, dude. Like uh we're pretty we're all we're all pretty lucky. Stop, you should move to Brooklyn though. Yeah, Brooklyn no, and Astoria are the only I mean, Bedstein and Astoria are the only uh it's affordable. I like my place. A story is cool. I like. I it. like a story. Yeah. I, I lived, I lived story there when I, I first moved here yeah. last year. It's fucking tight, dude. There's just like old people, old Greek people arguing outside. Yeah. Uh, good ass gyros. The food is good as shit in a story. Yeah, the food's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I'm hungry. You guys want to eat after this? You're always hungry, dude. You know what? Offer rescinded to eat with me. I don't want to break bread with you if you're going to fucking disrespect me. I told you I'm an alpha on the last podcast, and I'm going to fuck you up, dude. No, you're not, dude. I'm going to punch you right no, now. You're not. Don't don't punch me. <laughs> he so, punched. He uh, punched Nick we, really hard. Did we talk yeah. about? Do we talk about how shitty? What kind of punch is? was that, Felix? Uh, uh, Stav. A Stav, are you punch. a southpaw or uh, orthodox? No, I'm orthodox. Oh yes. Okay. So j- uh, Stav just hit Nick with two jabs. It was a double <laughs> jab. Reminiscent. More like uh, two Hunter. flabs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's box, bitch. Boy. Put on some fucking headgear and I'll box your ass. I have I have my Muay Thai gloves here. If both of you just use one glove. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a new type of boxing I invented. Well, there's. Have you ever seen uh, X Arm? Yes, hell yes. X Arm. X Arm is. Uh, it's a revolution. Do you remember when like when basketball came out? That was kind of a reaction to like in the '90s where they're like, "It's the '90s. We're in the future now. It's yeah, time it's to make everything for the future." <laughs> yeah. right, so the right. XFL, right, right, right. Roller Derby got real popular. And you remember Slam Ball? Yeah, Slam hell Ball. Yeah. Yeah. I do want to play Slam. Ball. I want to play Slam Ball. But the reason why Slam Ball is a commercial failure is because it's a thing that anyone can do, right? And you want to go do it. It would be right. like watching professional laser tag. Right. <laughs> it's right, a fucking right, bullshit. Right, right. It's not a spectator sport. It just mm-hmm. makes you. Want to go have fun? Like, oh, this is the World Series of Water Slide. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about that. Right. Uh, but one of them was uh, was fucking. Well, no, X Arm is something new, but uh, it's the combination of arm wrestling Ooh. and uh, mixed martial arts. So oh. it's two guys chained to a table, oh, and they start off with the yes. arm wrestling thing. And then the match starts, and then immediately one guy will swing around and try and arm bar the other dude. <laughs> <laughs> two human beings change, which reminds me of like, have you ever heard of trunking? 
No. no. Trunking is like, a, I think it might be like a Jersey thing, but it's dog fighting. But because dog fighting was like cracked down on so much, they just put the two pit bulls in the trunk of like a fucking El Dorado what? and then drive around, you know, for 20 minutes. Oh, my and God. And then pull the trunk, <laughs> pull the car back into the parking garage and they open the trunk and whichever dog is dead is the loser. And at that Holy point, it's shit. like, just Jesus. play dice. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't even get the sadistic pleasure of watching the dog fight. You're, it has this Schrodinger's dog fight experiment. <laughs> to, you know, uh, to see who the winner is. But yeah, X Arm's pretty tight. This is uh, also chess boxing, which I is in the same shit. vein. Yeah. They just fucking, you do a round of boxing and then you yeah. play chess. Which is like, you know, the, probably the most Russian thing I've ever heard in my entire life. But if you're like a good enough boxer, you don't have to. Yeah, you just knock the guy out. Right, exactly. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah, eventually they just get to boxing again. Yeah. It is kind of like a a personal tug of war with your own physiology, Mm -hmm. you know? Right. Like, it's like, can I, you have to not damage your brain as much as, you know, Mm -hmm. you can dole out punishment. Do you guys, do you guys remember Murder Bowl? Yeah, yeah, I the that wheelchair. I felt so bad for those guys. Yeah, yeah, my dick doesn't work anymore, but I'm still a fucking man. And if anybody <laughs> fucking says shit to me, I'll fuck them up. And it's like the only reason you will fuck that person up is because no one's going to feel comfortable fucking wailing on a guy in a wheelchair. <laughs> right, right, right. It doesn't have. Remember the like the arm, arm and legless guy who went into MMA. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. he had one fight, and the guy like immediately just started stomping on his fucking <laughs> his head, his pillowcase attached to a fucking head, and they were like. Oh, never mind. I guess. Yeah. Wait, he was armless and legless. He had no arms, no legs. <laughs> yeah, he was a congenital amputee, and he like he had the he had a fight with like a fighter, and the guy just sort of like kept at a distance with him. Right, won a fifteen minute decision, but he was like win or lose. It shows that anyone can do anything, and it's like I'm I'm sorry, that really isn't what that. You did, yeah, 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 yeah. There are that showed that there are limitations in the world. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm sorry, it's amazing that you did this, but. <laughs> this had the opposite absolutely. demonstration. Yeah, you know, that's re- absolutely the result of like early '90s programming with children. With like, you know, right. you really can do. Yeah, you're special in your own trophy. way, and it's like, yeah, no, let that man. You know, I don't know, hold seats at the movie theater. There's something he can <laughs> right, do. Right, 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 There's right. a job for him. Well, that guy, that guy's married and he has a kid, and he's like a motivational speaker. Hilarious. The armless and legless yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Fine, let him. Do he's that. a great work. piano player. Dick must work. Yeah. Yo, uh, you know who was a really you must be, be a really good. good murder ball player. Who? Stephen Hawking, actually. Well, he's the best murder chess ball player. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen murder chess ball? Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. Yeah, I would. Um yeah, if you just fight, you can fight a wheelchair guy. You just have to get the higher ground, I think. Yeah. My friend Mindy used to take care of this uh, this guy with cerebral palsy. She was like his caretaker, and I would hang out with him all the time. And uh, Christoph was really into uh, like professional bull riding. Hell so yeah. he, would ha- he had like the professional bull riding gear that he would wear, and people would like come up and be like, is that what happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My favorite part about that guy, he had this like really oppressive girlfriend that was also like disabled in mm. a way, and the only word he could say was her name, which is like, kind of romantic in like a, you know, in one way, but she would just like harass him. She would be like, say my name. I'm not getting off the phone till you say my name or whatever, and constantly like telling... And uh, my friend just hated that girl. Yeah, of course. That that (laughs) girl that ruined that poor cerebral palsy man's life. What was wrong with her? Uh, She might have also been... Because cerebral palsy isn't like a cognitive... I mean, it can be a cognitive thing. But it's mostly... It's It's mostly your body. Yeah. Yeah. Which which makes it so fucking sad. Yeah, you're a prisoner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Damn, have dude. you uh, ever if been I to a rodeo? Fucking powerful body. I don't I've know what the fuck I did. Yeah. In Texas, I've been. I've... No, in New Jersey, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. My my grandparents lived uh, in like a little like a uh, mobile home community, like down the street from uh, from the, a rodeo from the the Cowtown USA rodeo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a place called Cowtown. In Jersey, in Jersey, yeah, yeah, that's South Jersey. Fuck? That's yeah, that's where, yeah, yeah. Really, on yeah. the on the drive, like when you're you turn off ninety five, the Atlantic City like exit, you pass Cowtown. Huh? Yeah. yeah, that's where my grandparents lived. Oh, where was the when the I, shore now or a different set? What's that? The ones at the shore or the, a different set? Oh yeah, my dad's parents who were dead now. 
Gotcha. I remember uh, going pictures. to the rodeo. I went to the national finals rodeo with my family. That's how they died, actually, is at the rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> my, grandfather was like, my grandfather was like, yeah, I could do better than that kite bull. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking Jew bull. <laughs> and I fucking killed him. <laughs> he flew too close to the anti-Semitism sign. <laughs> <laughs> what a hero, dude. Yeah, dude he, he was racist. <laughs> that fucking guy. I think a lot of people like exaggerate how racist their grandparents are. That's like a fun bit for millennials to be like, sure. oh, my racist grandparents. It's like, what are you talking about? They're on Facebook. Right. You know, they're probably more yeah, liberal yeah, yeah. than you are. <laughs> right, they actually right, did right. something about right, it. Whereas right, you were just right. fucking born into a fucking uh, desegregated world. But uh, yeah, no, my grandfather was pretty racist. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking, there was like a building that burned down in West Philly or whatever. My family was, I don't even want to fucking quote him. <laughs> but I'll tell hmm, you, I the, quote, the quote starts with this. Oh, I'll tell you why that building burned down. <laughs> and then make it as bad as you want in your head. And that's how fucking bad it was. My, my grandma just got a divorce at 86 years old from her like fourth husband. And this dude was so fucking racist. We were in London and fourth every, husband. Yeah. Well, she's she's a she's a special kind of lady. She likes to get it in. She definitely. your grandma likes yeah, yeah. to get fucked big time. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And it's also like, yo, Charles, was I don't hot? respect you because you fuck my grandma. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I do not respect you. Is like, your grandma I don't have hot? to treat you like she looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, for, dude. You know, for her age and stuff, she's cool too. She's like really, but she got married to this fucking racist guy. And every time we were, when we were in London, we saw a Muslim person. He'd be like. Oh, the pajama gang is here. He kept calling Ooh. them the pajama. Oh, man. <laughs> it was fucking yeah. terrible. Charles. Yeah. yeah, he was he was awful, man. The and pajama gang. Yeah. In Greece they didn't even have like real race like they had I mean they did, but it was like racism against Albanians and speaking, like speaking of racism, you gotta hear about this truck attack today? Yesterday yeah. in Berlin. Yesterday the truck yeah. attack in Berlin. You know, I don't I feel like the truck attacks don't bother me as much as bombings, I guess, and it sort of humanizes them. I don't know why. But there's sort of like a a Wario element to drive <laughs> a, a truck through yeah. a crowd of people. Like that's what Wario would do. It's a GTA kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I mean yeah. Wario. <laughs> Wario. <laughs> you can just imagine gleeful yelling yeah, yeah, while yeah, you're yeah. mowing people <laughs> down. Now. Wario. Wario was a Salafist though. Yeah. yeah, like he was doing white genocide yeah. by kidnapping well, Peach. D- Wario. St- <laughs> Wario stands for Wahhabist Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what Wa Wa Wa. Wahhabism is, is you know derives from Mahabism. Right, right. You know that yep, game yep. like Mario is Shia <laughs> and Wario is Sunni, yeah. yeah. and that's like when when Mario like takes a mushroom, that's like uh, Shia mysticism. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. And, and but Wario, like you remember in Mario sixty four. Wario comes to Peach's castle and like fucks it up. That's mm-hmm. Sharia law. Yeah, because yeah. well, oh. Peach shouldn't be able to have a castle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, her face is out. I'm uh, I'm gonna put the Shia woman in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, most uh, all Italians were Muslim at one point. They derived yeah. from. Yeah. Uh, Wait, no one died in Berlin, though, right? Uh, no, a bunch of people died. Like twelve people died. Yeah. Fifty people they went did. to the hospital yeah. in a Chris- It was a Christmas carnival. Last I checked, too, they don't have. Uh, they haven't found the guy yet. Yeah, they detained the wrong guy at first. Yeah. Damn. Well, he the ran away. The police is actually run by Reddit. Well, yeah. you know, <laughs> what's so funny about that is like, you know, they do, they make like such an effort to avoid any kind of like Islamophobic backlash that they like don't want to release any details and then they arrest the wrong guy who's a Pakistani guy and then they begrudgingly announce like, yeah, it, it was a Pakistani guy, but we have to, you know, just, it, that's, this is the real evil here is that, you know, uh, all the people that work with refugees and all the people who earnestly came here seeking asylum, and they're like, oh, whoops, it wasn't actually a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> they wound up profiling anyways. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it that's would be like, funny if this guy was Swedish or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Like, well, the truck was from Poland, so they're saying it could be, you know, Wait, it was it, I mean, if, if it's from Poland, it was probably an accident then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, because, they, because there weren't three of them driving the truck. Yeah. Have oh you my been God. to Chicago? Like a, it was a Polish guy. Go- it was like some harebrained Polish shit. Like yeah, he yeah. duct taped his foot yeah, to, yeah. to the gas pedal. Uh, oh, take no. A nap. oh no, I sold my brake. I knew this would be a bad idea. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, they are retards. <laughs> Polish people would do 9-11 by accident. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for Russia to invade and kill all the Poles. 
<laughs> I can't wait for for Putin to murder all the Putin's Polish grabbing people. that shit up, dude. That's always funny, like with Ukraine, when all the like Obama Democrats are like, Obama has to do something about Ukraine, but like. About half of Ukrainians are Nazis. Yeah. Like, they all idolize this guy, Stefan Badera, who was a Nazi collaborator during the war really? and think he's a national hero. And he's all <laughs> over, like, the Euro Maiden slogans. Like, oh, yeah. They portrait. still love the SS in Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're, like, the Ukrainian division of the SS are still, like, you know, they respect it or what. Well, it's like Reagan, the 95 bulls. Didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't Reagan go to some memorial in Ukraine for, like, their SS division? No, I know what you're talking about. I think it might have been Germany, though. Yeah. Uh, I, I, for whatever reason, I thought it was Ukraine. But Reagan Re- Reagan never went to Israel while he was in office. But he, <laughs> yeah, went, to, yeah, yeah. he went to some memorial <laughs> for SS soldiers. Yeah. And he was like, you know, everybody in this war was a victim on both sides. <laughs> it's important to remember that no one is the winner anymore, especially not the Nazis. <laughs> Did he fight in the war, Reagan? No. No, he was no. a fucking movie star. He was getting his dick sucked. He was already a movie star at that point? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah, he was a movie star pretty early on. 20s and 30s. And he shit. used to be a real handsome guy. Yeah, yeah, he was. I mean, yeah. even as an old guy, he wasn't bad. Yeah, looking. it's funny. You look at like politicians or whatever. And you, you laugh at them for being ugly, and then you remember that they're like nine hundred years old. Yeah, like when you see a picture, like really, Trump is like the only guy that the was freak. never attractive. Yeah, yeah, right. He was always like young like Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. Yeah, Jesus exactly. Christ, he was sexy as shit. Dude. Yeah, it's yeah. like you don't deserve any power. Have you had you a seen, nice life. Have you seen <laughs> Young Muammar Gaddafi? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was... Uh, Gorgeous. Was yeah. Lomar sexy? Oh, really? Gorgeous. Yeah, he was. And then yeah, by the time he, he... You know, at the end of his life, he just looked like he was melting. You know, he just yeah. looked like his face was Well, that's how aging his, works, dude. He looked like yeah. an old bitch, dude. He looked, he looked like an old lady. horrible. He looked like a... Like a... One of those, like, uh, cartoons of... Who's the lion in, in Robin Hood? The Disney... King one? John. Yeah, King John. That's what he looked like. I thought uh, he looked like a Puerto Rican, like, uh, grandmother. Like yeah, he, he, he was really, only like, oh, yeah, he really his fucking did. robes and shit. Yeah. He looked like... Uh, he was a Boric one. I, I, don't, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't make fun of that person specifically, but that girl on Twitter with the uh, the Persian grandmother who like shook the egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. A picture of her grandma. Yeah, there's this girl on Twitter who's like, um, my grandmother just cursed into an egg and buried it in the backyard. That's yeah. indigenous Persian yeah, culture. Hashtag like, like, no, <laughs> that's dementia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've known plenty of Iranian people and like I, none of them had weird grandparents doing retarded shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They were mostly well-adjusted normal people. Yeah, not that's putting not curses like, on things. That's not part of Islam or Zoroastrianism or Baha'i. Like, yeah. That's just... That is only what happens when you have Alzheimer's. Yeah. Yeah, you're an old crazy bitch. No, yeah. well, the piss drinking thing is real. What? Urine therapy? Yeah. In in Persia, it's pretty big. Yeah. Then uh, Was it Persia that would pay extra money for Polynesian piss? <laughs> <laughs> Polynesian piss was like a hot commodity what? back in the... Yeah, yeah before, wow. Kids, well, right? I, th- I thought it was young, like young no, that's, piss. No, that's, like that's Chinese Chinese shit. people still drink Virgin boys' eggs. piss. Yeah, they Virgin boil, egg or some shit? They boil uh, eggs in boys' piss. <laughs> there was like a thing with like, guys going around to boys' schools and stealing all the piss because yeah. in China, it's a delicacy to have. That's, that's what like a Robin the Hood. Dude, I fucking love the Cultural Revolution. They just... <laughs> like, it's like the algorithm that they forget how to be like, you know, have any kind of culture, so they make shit up like that. You know, yeah. wait, is that post Maoist? I feel like it has I think to that's be pretty right? recent. Yeah, that can't be an, an ancient. I had a, thing I had a boy's, boy's piss. piss. It yeah. sounds ancient. Yeah, it does. I, mean, I had a boy's piss egg yesterday. It would sound hard to like introduce that in like 1980. Like, guys, I got a new idea. I don't know. Some of the shit I see happening in Chinatown, it's like, this has got to be a new thing. They're just, (laughs) (laughs) they're trying this out. But, uh, uh, no, the piss thing is because piss was used as, um, like, a mouthwash. It was like, yeah, for, like, hygienic purposes. So, uh, yeah, it was like. sterile? Yeah. Well, I guess because of the uric uric acid or whatever. Fucking. It helped clean your teeth. So people used to rinse their mouth out with piss. And I think Polynesian piss. I mean, this is like That's something I read in like fourth grade. So, yeah. you know, I don't remember if it's fucking. You're just <laughs> looking at Goatsy and reading about piss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Goatsy and dolphin sex. You remember that one? Dolphin sex. Dolphin oh. sex. Oh, is... yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the fucking. Uh, yeah, they have na- the homosexual nasal sex. 
Yeah, really? dolphins. Yeah, they're the only animal in the animal kingdom that has nasal sex. Dude, a dolphin's dick. Dick. Blow holes. A dolphin's dick looks so weird. It looks like uh, it's prehensile, it's, right? It's prehensile, oh, but it nice. looks like uh, it looks like if you just t- like uh, turned on a soft serve machine with no cone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's good. It's like you know, weird star shaped. You know, hanging like it, yeah, it's like a big tongue. Yeah, Ooh, it nice. looks like a tongue. Incredibly yeah. smooth sexual yeah. organ. Uh, guys, yeah. this is a 100% promise. If the Patreon hits $20,000, we're going to go to SeaWorld and we're going to make a dolphin fuck Stavros. <laughs> <laughs> I'll suck a dolphin off for 20 Of Gs. course you will. This is the, uh, the benefit of having a Greek on the show, <laughs> is that we can explore new areas of gender mm-hmm. to boldly go into new genders that no one has thought of before. I want to fuck a dolphin girl, though, dude. I'm not gay, dude. Yeah. They've got like, big pussies. Do they I have imagine. big pussies? Yeah. No. They do. That's why I get weirded out when I hear about people fucking farm animals. And it's like, have you seen how they impregnate a cow? You, you shove your entire arm in there. Like yeah. if you, if you feel comfortable, you know, like that cow's not going to fucking laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> you put your regular human-sized mm-hmm. dick inside of it, dude. I saw my friend. Well, they have Ramsey. those huge leather sleeves that they get the the male horse or, oh yeah, it's horses. Sorry to fuck. Yeah, and then they give it to Steve O. He has to drink it. Yeah, yeah. He spits it into a uh, spits it into the horse pussy. Dude, the shit Monsanto does is so fucked up. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, what's up? I'm Steve O, and I'm here with Monsanto, and this is drink a horse's cum (laughs) to put a farming family out of business. (laughs) To sue a farming family when I throw the cum up on their property, and then I sue them to get the cum back and we take their farm. That's the sinister side of Wild Boys is that they were. They were just sponsored by Monsanto. Yeah. Yeah. How about this? Uh, it's Steve O and Chris Pontius, and they go to Thailand, and the show's called Child Boys. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the rest of that. <laughs> Do you remember Fuck. we were we were talking about? Um, it was you and me, I remember. It was like a long time ago. We were talking about uh, how people do like hashtag food porn, mm-hmm. yeah. and hashtag like uh, like puppy porn. When it's like a cute puppy, we were like, "What if like there's just a picture of a baby?" It was like hashtag child porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Just baby porn. If you had to fuck an animal, what would you fuck? Uh, didn't we talk about this already? Yeah, we? like we f- did seven times. Yeah, yeah no, th- you always ask the same questions. All right, all right. How about this? If you had to fuck. Uh, did I answer your mom the first time around? Because that's, <laughs> that's a good place for that classic bit. Oh, that's pretty good. That would have been good. Yeah. Well, I don't think Felix has said which animal he wants to fuck. That's actually why I came on. I <laughs> yeah. that. uh, that's a good question. Um, a lot of people would probably like go for the primate family because they're like it's closest to humans. Right. Uh, sorry, one second. I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. His, <laughs> his, uh, his gorilla's here. Yeah. <laughs> his young gorilla boy has arrived. I would uh, scissor with a bonobo because they're a lesbian culture. Oh, hell yeah. yeah, dude. I, uh, my, my choice would be haircut. I don't fuck an animal. <laughs> yeah. I think we mentioned that because yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the idea at first. You totally can. You hear you hear what animal would you fuck if you could? And then you think, oh, and then you're like, I've got the pick of the litter. Right. But then you realize that's not a choice that you want to make. <laughs> right, right. There's no mm-hmm. good option because mm-hmm. instinctually you think as a consumer, you think I've got all these options. Absolutely. Capitalism. Unlimited. Uh, yeah. I can I can buy whatever I can fuck whatever I want. And then none of the options are good. And that's why you need Zen to remind you that you don't really want to fuck any animal. That's true. You know what I think is messed up is that you could watch any animal having sex on YouTube except for humans. That is That's not up. true, dude. You can watch humans fuck if you just put in sex ed video. For anything, really? On anything, for, anything for educational purposes is allowed on YouTube. So if you type in breast exam, you find breast exam videos Ooh. and then a million comments from like boys from like Saudi Arabia <laughs> that are like, finally to see the boob, please. <laughs> <laughs> to see breast. Thank you. May I have sex, please? <laughs> the Jim Goad, who I'm sure everybody fucking hates, uh, but... Uh, Jim Goad's website used to have, uh, uh, like, all the search terms that led people to his website displayed on the sidebar. Mm-hmm. That's funny. It probably still does, but I remember going to his site one time, and it, on the sidebar, one of the search terms that brought somebody to his website was, uh, it is allowed for a Muslim boy to suck his own penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to suck on penis, Muslim. <laughs> you know? That was that. That's going to be the cause of the Muslim reformation. Yeah, <laughs> is, is uh, self suck. Yeah. 
like the Martin Luther of Islam is going to be like, no, self suck is allowed. <laughs> God gave you the ability, and God created doctors so you could remove your ribs. <laughs> Damn, dude, those little boys, not only can they not see titties, but they have to get fucked all the time by men. Yeah. I mean, in Afghanistan, Afghanistan. not as much. A little bit in Saudi Arabia sometimes. And that's, what I, that's why I think the boys piss thing, because Afghanistan used to be a normal place until like 1970. Yeah, yeah it 60s. was. Yeah. It was like a pretty Were modern place. Were they fucking place. boys there in droves in, 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 prior to the Russian invasion? Well, the boy fuckers went into the caves, and then they came out uh, post-1978. Yeah. I th- yeah. And somehow I don't believe that drinking boys piss in... drinking. First of all, the egg thing makes it so much worse. It was just like they like to drink... that's real, right? What? The, that it actually happens? Because I saw that... I, don't know. I thought it was like a trick that it's like a, a myth that the Chinese do that. No, it's real. Yeah, yeah, it's one hundred percent real. Yeah, the well, egg. If that if someone's eating an egg, because a hard boiled egg is already kind of gross. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> what I'm like, saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm fucking saying. It's like, what's the last thing I would want if I had to drink piss? <laughs> what's the last fucking thing I would want in it? And with the exception of like oysters. Right, you know, raw oysters with boys' piss. It's <laughs> hard boiled egg. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be good for like a, a, a sponge cake. A sponge you know, cake, with you know, the sugar bad. over overpowers it, and it's <laughs> moister. <laughs> what if the spirits? <laughs> yeah. If you mix piss with like flan, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah piss based flan would stops, be good. Stops ordering some boys' piss for the vitamins. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm gonna make a fucking butternut squash soup with boys' piss. I thought the base. basis for uh, Soylent was boy piss. I think yeah, that's oh, yeah. like it's the silicon. I love that everyone was getting sick off Soylent. That shit is. So Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was working with Nimesh. We were writing on that show, and Nimesh is like, "Yeah, I just got Soylent or whatever," and I was like, "What the fuck? What is that?" That was my first exposure to it, and I remember I was saying to him, "Like, you're gonna get fucking sick, dude." Like that's not it's just slim fast. You have to eat real food. You can't right. just yeah. eat fuck like drink nothing but milkshakes. You're going to fuck up your digestive tract. You know, he's like, "Nah, dude, they got everything in there." It's like that's not how like bodies <laughs> right, work. Right, yeah, right. It was like 2 weeks later that company was like facing trouble for <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's your shit like? Does it just slide the you fuck out there? You probably have constant diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. There's no way you have solid stool. There's nothing for, you know, for the there's no fiber. Yeah, you're not really retaining any minerals or anything. Yeah. I think that's the funniest thing about it to me is like how hard is eating for you? <laughs> right, like, right, you right. can't just like eat toast or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got a code, dude. You need. Well, you it need is. It is all those dudes. It is all those guys. Yeah. yeah. The, the smoothie thing, like having a Vitamix, makes sense if you like don't get any fucking produce. It's really making a salad is the most inconvenient fucking food prep there is. Yeah. To like f- cut up lettuce, I don't have time for that shit. Oh, I'm, yeah, a, I'm a goddamn businessman. Absolutely. I got giant TVs to buy over here, boys. <laughs> I'm keeping the box in the apartment, by the way. The, 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 all points of egress are encumbered by a giant fucking TV box <laughs> that I hope. When this place eventually burns down, they find my charred <laughs> remains clutching all of my podcasting equipment <laughs> behind the giant TV box. <laughs> and I want that picture uh, uh, just fucking screen printed directly on my headstone. We'll do that. We'll yeah. do that for you. I want people to know that I, I died as I lived miserably in, <laughs> in the pursuit of more consumer electronics. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? My old apartment, the one in Chinatown, it did catch fire. One really? Day. Yeah, I, there was all these. I heard. I these, remember that. I heard all these fucking fire trucks, and I'm sitting at my computer, and uh, like there's all these loud sirens. I'm like, shit, that must be a big fire. So I go to like the, I, you know, look on Twitter. I'm like, big fire, Manhattan. I go to the FDNY's Twitter page, and there's my address. Like, no. you know, five alarm fire. At, yeah, but my fucking my old address. And I'm like, oh shit. And then there's like a pounding on the door. And I open the door, and this Chinese lady is like, "Fire! Fire!" <laughs> and there's all this smoke in the hallway. And you think in the moment you would be like panicked or whatever. I'm like, "Ah, shit!" Right. And I just closed the door and like went back in my room and packed up all my podcasting equipment. And I thought, <laughs> like, how funny would it be if I died saving saving, <laughs> saving my podcasting? <laughs> what a befitting death for a white man gentrifying this building of Chinese people. I'm the only death, and it's because I was saving my bullshit podcast equipment. Oh, fuck. What a way to go. Which is crazy, though, because what happens is the FDNY shows up, 
They put out the fire, and they really are heroes. You think because, you know, they have the same aesthetic as police officers that they're pieces of shit, like you kind of want to hate them. Right. But they do save people. Oh, yeah. Well, they show up. If you're if you're going to be a racist... Just be a firefighter. Just be a firefighter. Yeah. 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 They yeah. show up, they put the fire out, and they're all like, later. And uh, <laughs> yeah. this one family's apartment was just completely destroyed. <laughs> they bring the fire hose up there, and they just soak your entire apartment. <laughs> <in water. laughs> there was water pouring down the stairwells and shit. And like, so the apartment's destroyed. And then like an hour later, the Red Cross comes in, and they're like, okay, so you're homeless now. And uh, <laughs> we're going to take you to a shelter where uh, your children are going to be exposed to awful people. <laughs> Jeez. Fuck, yeah. man. None of my shit has ever burned down. Your house, house burned down, right? Yeah, yeah. When I was four, my house burned really? down. Really? Yeah, like when I was sleeping, and uh, holy shit, I had to run out of it. That's why you yeah. learned karate, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I had to fight yeah. flames. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, the, yeah. That was my childhood. It was like a reflection of my house burning down in my eyes, and my eyes watering. And then when you zoom back out, I was being awarded my black belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm never gonna be afraid again. <laughs> no, I mean that's like probably why I have trouble sleeping. Is yeah. that? Yeah, dude, because you're four, too. Yeah, it was, that shit uh, sticks with you. Yeah. I remember watching a, a Cops episode as a kid, because I used to be terrified of fire as a kid. Because they, you know what they do? We mentioned it on the last one. Actually, I just did my, my stop, drop, and roll bit that never found any success in stand-up <laughs> on the last show, and it didn't really hit anyway, so I don't really care. But I used to be terrified of fire as a kid, and it's because of all that fire prevention training, which doesn't really do anything. It's yeah. like, if there's a fire, get out of the house. It's like, well, I was going to do that. I yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they, you know why I wouldn't try to get out of the fucking right, house, right, right. but uh, yeah, I remember there was a cops episode where this like the you know patrolman's driving, and then like he sees through like a subdivision, there's just flames in like a window, so they go over there and they like call the fire department. And this like family like loses all their shit, and the daughter's just got like her head shaved. And I didn't know what cancer was at the time, and like my mom would explain to me like, yeah, some children die of cancer, and Jesus you know, Christ, and I remember like. Just in that one episode of Cops, like my understanding of how just <laughs> suddenly overnight your life could become complete shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could get cancer and your house burns down. When I, yeah, we had that like fire prevention bullshit for me, like after our house burned down, and it was like five. And I was really cocky about it. I was like, my house actually did burn down. And, uh, you actually want to run out of there. <laughs> you don't want to run into the fire. Um, how did it burn down? Our neighbors are getting their stairs. Like, they're getting something done to their stairs. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, one of the contractors, like, left a cigarette on the stairs. Oh, hell and yeah. their house really didn't burn that much. The fire, like, spread to our house. What? Yeah. It was fucked up. I mean... We had insurance and it was fine. We Just, we we lost this. We had stolen cable oh, no. that my mom got when uh, she was pregnant with me. Nice. And I did her like it was fine though. Is that also how your mom became pregnant with you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the cable yeah. guy showed up. And, uh, well, you know, I can get you a discount, but it's gonna cost you. <laughs> Have you ever seen that scene in uh, Forrest Gump where she wants to get the kid into the school? Yeah. It's basically that kind yeah, of situation. I mean, it, was, it was really, it was really that. I mean, yeah. yeah. If you want to have HBO, yeah. yeah. I mean, what's what's more permanent happiness? Getting yeah, your yeah. retarded kid into school. Yeah. Or, That's what uh, actually that little that like HBO. three finger rubbing motion is. It's it's a, you playing with the clit. <laughs> you think it means money, but it actually it's uh, I'm gonna have to play with your clit. <laughs> you want you want this free TV? Well, that's it. That's the episode. Um, we're out of time. And uh, if you guys got anything you want to say to that, or are you yes, tuckered out. Yes, we want to plug Monday's show at Come On Everybody. This is going to be airing before that, so yes. Monday the twenty sixth, Boxing Day. Uh, if you're British or something, who celebrates Boxing? Canada? Canadian Canada. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the twenty sixth. Come on, everybody. Uh, doors are at eight. Shows at nine. Does Canada not have Christmas? Uh, they yeah they got rid of it. Oh, damn. Socialism. Well, now they have what Muslim Christmas? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They gave it to the yeah. Syrians. Yeah. It's a wa, wa Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Prime Minister Justin. My friend growing up was Muslim, and they celebrated Christmas. 
Yeah, Muslims I, love Christmas. Yeah. I mean, Jesus. Well, yeah, Jesus yeah. was like, you know, I mean, he plays like a, a sort of a background role. He's sort of like, a, you know, there's Ender's Game and then there's the Ender's Shadow series. And the Bible is sort of like the <laughs> Ender's Shadow series where Bean plays a, a bigger role. <laughs> the the Rock. About? Uh, books, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Children's right. literature. Books. Yeah. <laughs> right. so, so to Muslims, uh, Muhammad is Master Chief. Yeah. But okay. Christ now is kind of like uh, Cortana. Yeah. Okay. Or the black man. Well, it's officer. sort of like, yeah. Oh, Jesus, really? Jesus Christ that. is like the Russian roommate in Perfect Strangers, and Muhammad <laughs> is like Carl there. Winslow. Yeah, okay. Oh, all right, they they right, renamed right. Jesus yeah. in the Quran. He's Isa. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ is like Archie Bunker and fucking Wheezy. Jefferson mm-hmm. is, uh, is uh, Muhammad. Yeah. Jesus that Christ. I got the most. Jesus yeah. Christ is kind of like uh, Bruce Jenner, and Muhammad is kind of like Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> okay. No. Now you've completely lost. We're doing spinoffs, so yeah. well, I was just I was just We're doing wanted to say unified storylines. So I just I wanted to have a fatwa against. Oh, our okay, podcast. okay, I get oh, it. I get go. it. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah, yeah, okay. Cheers and Fraser. I do just one wanted with to that. say something. Yeah, cheers cheers really Fraser. Yeah, offensive. I get Jesus it. is like Fraser and Muhammad. Well, no, I guess Fraser's the. Hmm. Jesus is like <laughs> Sam. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fraser. Yes. Fraser. Yep. Okay, mm-hmm. now I get religion. Yeah. We did it, boys. Muhammad is the Undertaker. Jesus is Paul Bearer. Ah, all right. Oh, I thought you were going to say circle. Kane. Yeah, Kane would <laughs> yeah. make more sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't know. Imagine that. how big Kane must be in real life. Did he oh, just yeah, he's seven? like uh, 11 feet tall. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's the tallest guy. He's got to be so fucking big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's ugly as shit. Um, well, yeah, you've got to have some kind of growth deformity. Yeah. We were talking about that guy, Bigfoot Silva, the yeah. other day. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, he shouldn't chin. be allowed to participate <laughs> That's, in combat sports. It's like, it's offensive. But doesn't he get yeah, fucked up a lot? Cause his he gets fucked big? up horribly because he used to be like... Uh, he would take TRT, which is just shooting like pure testosterone into you. And then after a while, people were like, you can't do that. Right. And he goes, oh, well, actually, um, I medically need to take testosterone because I don't didn't go through enough puberty. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of like, well, if you medically need testosterone, like if you're going to die, if they don't give you testosterone, you probably shouldn't be fighting. Right, yeah. right, right. But ever since he was disallowed from taking steroids or TRT. He just gets horribly mammed. Yeah. He, and because he's so tall, he falls like a giraffe being yeah. shot. Yeah. What he looks like is like... Um you know where you can do like Simpsons fi yourself or yeah. something. <laughs> it's like they made one of those for Donkey Kong, and then Benicio del Toro used. The <laughs> Kong. That's what he looks like. Uh, Donkey uh, Kong yourself, Benicio del Toro. <laughs> Beautiful is how he looks. So that's the episode. You guys uh, enjoy the holidays. Thank y'all. Uh, enjoy Bye, everybody. Your families. Um, Thanks, Big Dick Felix. Yeah, remember. My pleasure. Hey, you know what? Take the time to remember that you know we lost the war on Christmas. So uh, try to remember the the true meaning of Christmas which is uh, subscribing to the podcast getting <laughs> right. your friends to subscribe to the podcast <laughs> and uh, and please please don't be racist in our name uh, thank you guys <laughs>